anytime you do a diabetic diet, diabetic diet could be like a, a zone or a keto diet or anything like that. It takes carbohydrates away from the body. Anytime you do that, what happens on the other side of that diet? Anybody? Why do you rebound? Okay, so what it, you're doing is you're setting your body up to not be able to use carbohydrates or sugars. Uh, and so what happens is you gain fat now three times as fast. They leave that part out. <laughs> but you get in shape, right, please? Oh, sure, anytime you, you exercise a lot, anytime you cut out carbohydrates, you're gonna get in shape. It's not maintainable. How you get in shape, let me say this again. How you get in shape is how you're gonna have to try to maintain it. So if you tied it down and you went extreme, and you did so much workouts and so low carbs and low calories, well now that's how you're gonna maintain it because as soon as you put in 100 calories, you're already back up to something your body's not used to and you start gaining the weight back. Okay, so now we're into the whole, we're in shape, we're out of shape. We're in shape, we're out of shape, okay? It is smarter to get in shape and then reverse out slowly and controlled to be able to maintain. A fad diet is just that, it's a fad diet. This does come back to the whole typical annoying thing saying it's a lifestyle. I know that sucks. I wish there was a trick. Been doing it for 41 years, there's no trick. It really does come down to each day, get up and do the very best you can for that day. And let me say it again. The very best you can for that day. I don't care if you're injured, you're sick, um, you're stressed out, the best you can for that day. Okay, because I've been doing this so long, I think it is more important those days, uh, the heartbreak days, uh, 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 the trauma days, those are the more important days than the days you feel good. Those are the days that you get the workout and the days you stay on the diet. It's the other days, if you can continue to stay on the foundation on whatever principles you are with nutrition and training, those are the days that are gonna make you the champion and get you in better shape. Because you're gonna have a lot of those days. And if you continue on those days to run to the food, uh, to skip the workouts, to say, hey, you know what, next week, it's Tuesday, I'll start next Monday. When it continues to do that, that's when you really fall back and it, you don't see the changes, you lose the motivation, you got no passion, you're angry again, and then it just gets worse and worse and worse. And then you're further away. So as life goes, as arthritis goes, as injuries go, or as travel goes, um, we travel more now than ever in my career. And I stay even more on point because of the fact that I understand the consequences to the two extremes, okay? Because I don't want to hear, and, and I have personally stopped saying to somebody going, well, I'm so busy, so I, I don't diet perfect. I don't say that to people because I, I, I'm not that arrogant to think that I'm more busy than the next guy. Um, you can stay on a nutrition plan no matter how much you travel, no, how much, no matter how much stress you're in. You can and stay on a healthy nutrition plan. You can get the meals in. Um, and it is more important that you stay balanced than you try to do a fad diet. Now, with that being said, I'm okay with you doing the fad diets. I'm okay with you doing keto or vegan or whatever you do. I'm all right with that. Study it, understand what it did for your body, and then get back to the basics, okay? I have done everything. Um, and, and, I, and I think everything is great to learn from. Uh, I understand why people fast. The mind focus for a fast is amazing. Uh, I'm ADD already, but when I fast, man, I'm going 100, she's annoyed with me. I'm telling you, hey, Mo, why? hey, so I got this idea, this idea, this idea, ah, stop. Um, but then there's consequences to each thing, okay? When you set your body up to not utilize carbohydrates, you're setting yourself up to fail later on. And so we have to reverse back into carbohydrates. Everything is fixable. The number one thing when it comes to nutrition is to make sure your body is functioning at 100%. Do you guys know how to do that? Go for it. Well, just an example, during the night before, if you're going to work out, you don't want to. 
Yeah, alcohol does shut down the body for a period of time because it's a toxin. And so your kidneys and livers will clean out the toxins before utilizing the protein correctly again. So that's a great point. Um, but you know that your metabolism is working at 100% when you can actually eat, eat carbohydrates, eat a good amount of calories, not work out, and keep the body. Is that amazing? You can actually eat, eat carbohydrates, eat a healthy calorie intake, and the body doesn't change. Now you know your body's not functioning correctly when you're doing that same thing and all you're doing is gaining weight. Now your body's not functioning. It's not utilizing the calories. You don't know what's going on. You have to exercise to burn calories so your body can stay the same. This is not what we want to get into. We would like to be able to do four days of training so you're building muscle because building muscle is going to give you longevity, the bone density, the health, the range of motion, and eat healthy calories throughout the day to where you're not starving the body. If you are in a deficit all year long, you're breaking down your body. You're only hurting your body. So we were talking about this today. I put up a video with a buddy of mine. Um, carbohydrates versus low carbs on a nutrition plan. Okay? What is better? Whatever's better for you. No, it's actually carbohydrates. Carbohydrates is good for everybody. Because carbohydrates is energy. Carbohydrates is recovery for food and body. Carbohydrates is for mind. You know, your body utilizes 50 grams of carbohydrates just for your brain to function. Is that amazing? Yeah. So are you talking simple carbs or complex carbs? Yes. Both. Yes. Yes. Both. And carbs taste yes. good. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that people run away from carbs and it's the easiest way to get in shape is low carbs. But again, it's not maintainable. Okay. And in time, if you do it that way, your body's just going to slow and slow and slow and then you're just going to age, age, age. So that's the, that's the biggest thing. Um, now, what I'm not saying is this. I'm not saying for everybody that's doing low carbs, go out, start eating carbs. Doesn't work that way. Your body's not used to it. What I am saying is in, introduce them again slowly over a period of time. Everything is a 10 day to two week period. Okay. Do you understand what 10 day, two weeks, you start waking up at six in the morning. You're going to have to set your alarm for six in the morning. Within 10 days, your body will adapt to it and you'll start waking up at six in the morning without your alarm. It's the same thing for nutrition. It's the same thing for your body on training. So in two weeks, your body will adapt to it. Change again. Add in 25 grams of carbohydrates for the next two weeks. After two weeks, when your body's adapted to it and you feel like, wait, I'm not blowing up no more. The body's staying the same. I feel good a little bit more energy, I'm stronger, add in another 25 grams of carbohydrates, okay? The ultimate goal, I always go back to Mona about this, is that I'm always in a deficit because of the lifestyle and guest posing. So I'm not doing it correctly for what you guys should be doing it for. Where Mona didn't train for two years, um, eats about 350 grams to 400 grams of carbohydrates a day and trains three days a week. That's a functioning metabolism. I'm not there. Um, but this is the goal that I would want everybody to be at, is to be able to be a 145 pound woman eating 300 grams of carbohydrates a day and only training three days a week. That would be ideal. That's a functioning body. That means this mid 40 year old woman could have a baby and in six weeks, uh, she could be back on stage and guest posing because the body is moving. We find problems when we're not changing, when we're eating, the body doesn't feel like it's burning the calories. You know, you kind of feel bloated. That's your body shutting down. We got to get past that. We got to teach it to utilize the calories again. This is one of the hardest things. Training's easy. I started doing appearances in 1987, going to shows, meeting fans. In those years, Everybody will come up and go, I got no problem. I train like a beast. I'm a savage. I go into the gym six days a week. I'm great. 
<laughs> where I'm having a problem is nutrition. So since I started doing appearances to today, I have never come up to somebody or somebody's come up to me and said, I'm great on nutrition. Not once. It's nutrition. This is, this is fun, this is great, but unless the nutrition is right, this doesn't really do a lot, okay? So think about this. It's not that hour in the gym, it's not the two hours in the gym, it is that time outside of the gym of eating a good, healthy meal plan and making sure your body's functioning at 100%. Everybody in here is different. Everybody's got different goals. The one thing I'd want you to do is be able to utilize all the basic fats, protein, and carbohydrates for your body to utilize those and understand what they're used for. Does everybody understand what each is used for? Mm -hmm. To keep it real simple, real simple is taking in some fat keeps your body the understanding that it's healthy because fats, believe it or not, is what helps keep the organs healthy. There's fat around the organs and stuff like that. When you start trying to go away from too much, your body will shut down. When you go away from anything, it shuts down. You go away from carbohydrates. It's gonna have to use something else for energy. So what you're teaching your body is, if you don't use carbohydrates, it's gonna teach the body to use protein as energy, which you don't want to do. You don't wanna do it because then when you do introduce carbohydrates back, now that it doesn't know what to do with it, it shuts down, you gain fat three times as fast, you blow back up, okay? Yeah. A simple way to keep it is carbohydrates is energy for the mind and body, protein is for the muscle, fats is for health. This is just a simple way to do it, all right? Keeping all three of those in there is gonna help the body, no matter what age you're at. And as we age, your body slows down naturally. So what I do purposely, purposely, is to make sure there's a portion of the time during the year that I introduce those carbohydrates back because I am always in a deficit. And again, don't recommend this. But I'm on stage every other weekend in little posing trunks and it doesn't look good if I go out there fat. So there's a portion of the time of the year I will introduce carbohydrates back into the nutrition and I will do it slowly over a period of time. But I will work my way back up to where some of you guys that know me and follow me, I'll work my way back up to where I'm eating two pounds, three pounds of fruit before bed. Let me say it again. Two to three pounds of fruit right before bed. So what am I doing? Retraining my body 100%. Retraining it to where I'm that 15, 16 year old kid that we used to eat pizza Right? And we'd wake up the next day looking the exact same, if not better. That's what I'm purposely doing with my nutrition. Where the majority of society is trying to stay perfect, right? You got that look on your face. <laughs> Talk to me, kiddo. With the majority, and, I, and I'm going to go all the way back to where I first started this conversation. I was doing an interview, a uh, 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 discussion, YouTube video with a, my boy who's always below 5% body fat. He looks incredible. He looks like a Greek god. Long blonde hair, looks better than Thor in the movies. His body's not functioning correctly. But, but how's that? He's ripped to the bone. He's strong. He looks great. How is his body not functioning correctly? Okay, but go further. It's, uh, body's not getting what it needs. So why is his body not functioning correctly, though? He looks great. He's in a caloric deficit, especially a carbohydrate deficit, but he doesn't have the energy and the glycogen he needs to function. But he's strong. He function. His yeah. muscles are strong. His, his digestive system might not be strong. His brain might not be strong. What does he's, it do to his joints and his ligaments that not get the carbohydrate? There we go. All dry. I love it. To fill out, See, to fill back in. Here's, the, here's what I would like you guys all to understand. As much as we want to look perfect for a day, it's more important to be 70% all year. I'd rather you be 70% all year instead of 100% for one moment and the rest of the year 20% and destroyed. Okay, most of you youngsters, right now, this is the best time in the world. I was eating peanut butter and jam sandwiches. I was putting all that size on, I was eating it. I wasn't falling into the fads of going, hey, I need my, my six pack 24 seven. 
when you're in a surplus of food, your body's recovering. If your body can recover, you can grow and stay healthy. Okay? Now, that's not saying I don't want you to look great all year long. But understand, there's a period of time that I need you to go back and have an off-season. Okay? And I know that in, in today's society with social media, I don't know how many of you are blown away with social media, but uh, the, the concept is to always look perfect. That's short-lived. That's not realistic. Um, the concept should be to be healthy. That's, that's the number one thing. Um, and so for my friend, uh, the challenge I had to him was, if your body's functioning correctly and you're sliced and you're 5%, um, go out and for one month eat 350 grams of carbohydrates, which is not a lot. Mona does it. And Mona's 50 pounds less than this male. His testosterone's higher just because he's basically a male. What would happen to his body in one month by eating the same amount of calories as a female in her mid 40s, where he's in his early 30s? He'd blow up like a balloon. And that's where my point would be then we're not functioning correctly. We're not setting ourselves up for the long haul. And that's what I don't want anybody here to do. So when it comes to nutrition, everybody is different. 100% different. It matters on where you're at and what you've been doing to your body. So uh, the number one thing would not be the app that tells you you're six foot, 200 pounds, 170 pounds of muscle, you need to take in 3,400 calories. No, it's, it's a computer, that's not, that's not realistic. Especially if you're walking around and you haven't had carbohydrates, or you've been in a deficit, or you're doing the two hours. There's things that you gotta go into play on how much you've been eating prior to starting the nutrition plan. So whatever you are eating, if you're eating once a day, twice a day, only add in a meal. So you guys understand what I'm saying, the difference between what a computer will tell you or what the internet will tell you or what you do studying on? What it says is incorrect. All I want you guys to do is take in a little bit more food than you were doing before. And then listen to the body, okay? Listen to the body. That means if you start blowing up, lower it back down a little bit. Let your body adapt to it. Give your body two weeks to understand what's happening. Don't just go off the next day. Well, I ate more food. Well, you got more food in your system. You got more water in your system. Of course you're heavier. Give your body two weeks to understand the difference. Okay? Then add in again. Or subtract again, depending on what's happening. Now, the difference between eating healthy and eating right is this. Eating healthy is salads, vegetables, protein to feed the muscle, a little bit of carbohydrates, a little bit of fat. That's eating healthy. Eating right is completely different. Eating right is you listening to your body. Are you building strength? And, and again, strength is, I don't care how old you are. I want strength for you and me. I want us still getting stronger regardless of how old you and me are. Okay? That's everybody. All right? So strength means your body is recovering and getting stronger and building muscle. This is good. Is your body maintaining its weight? Is it getting in better shape? If it's getting in better shape, again, you're eating correctly for what you need to be doing. These are the difference between eating healthy and eating right. Because eating healthy is the salads and all those vegetables and stuff like that, but you look the same. There's no change. You're not getting stronger. Um, most of the time you're, you're tired. You don't feel great. Uh, you don't have that energy. That's eating healthy, probably in a surplus, uh, in a deficit, sorry. Um, and that's what I don't want for you guys to do. You guys understand the difference now? One is that you gotta listen to your body and understand. If you do not understand that, it's fine. Work with somebody that does understand the concept, okay? Um, and again, I'll go back to that again. Always work with somebody um, outside of yourself, uh, unless you really understand this stuff. Um, even I work with people outside. I don't care how much I know. I can't look at myself. I've, I've done shows and guest posts where I'm like, 
I got this one. I just, I, I'm looking great. And then I get off stage and she shows me the video and I go, what the heck? And she goes, I tried to tell you. Okay, so no matter how good you are at this, work with somebody. Um, talk to them about it. Uh, and, and again, the key points here is listening to your body. Make sure that you're growing, make sure that you're developing muscle, make sure you're changing over a short period of time. Do not wait a year, do not wait a month. You change quickly, if it's done correctly. Questions?